Hey, how's it going? I just want to say thanks for being part of the IA Business Advisors team. My name is Corey, and I'm going to give you an overview of how to use Zoho Projects. Um, Zoho Projects allows us to manage each client's project individually to allow IA Business Advisors and our clients to stay on task and on time. To start, you're going to receive an email from Zoho asking you to join their portal. Once you click on the link, it will take you to the login where you can create a password for your account. I'm just going to choose a password. And I'm done. So once you're finished, you'll be able to log in. And boom! Welcome to the Zoho Client Portal. The URL you're going to want to bookmark is projects.iabusinessadvisors.com. It will take you to the exact same spot, so I'll show you right here in the new tab. So right here, type in projects.iabusinessadvisors.com. Access Soho Projects. It's going to take you to the exact same place, as you can see. So let me just back out of this. So when you log into Zoho, you will see a vertical ribbon as well as a horizontal ribbon. The vertical ribbon is only relevant to the current project you are on. On the horizontal ribbon, this is where you can access your projects. So we are on Zoho Client Training. So once you click on your project, you're going to see the feed. The feed is a notification about someone's activity in the project. Think of it more like how you check the latest updates on your Facebook and Instagram accounts. The activities could be anything related to work such as updating a status, a task, a milestone, uploading a document, etc. And I'm going to go further in detail with these later. I just wanted to show you that this is more of like a shortcut. So if you wanted to mention someone in the feed, you want to do it in the same way you do it on Twitter by typing in the at sign and then the person's name. So for instance, I'm going to tell Sierra that I need help developing a website. So type at. Oh. Sierra. Let's say I need help developing a website. You click submit. So once you submit it, it will pop up right here. So whenever someone mentions you or adds you to a task, whatever it may be, you're going to get a notification which you will see right here. I don't know about you, but I don't feel like getting a bazillion notifications a day, so Zoho allows us to customize what we want to be notified for. So if you click on the tools, and you click on notifications, you can customize what you want and don't want to be notified for. So for instance, let's say I want to be notified when a document is uploaded, so I'll click right here, and turn it green, I'll say updated successfully. So let's go back to the feed. Right below feed on the vertical ribbon is tasks, which is right here. So tasks are the activities that need to be accomplished within the project. The culmination of task is called a task list and will be in bold. So to add a task list, We'll move our mouse over to the Add Task drop-down menu and click Add Task List. I will call this task list Video Presentation. Video Presentation. And then click Add. And you'll see it right here. It's in bold. 
So in order to add a task to the task list, you can either click on the drop down menu right here and add task. Or you find it easier if you just add it right here as well. So we will call this one Zoho login screen. Center, and it'll show up right there. You can select the user as task, so I will add myself, and you can also add other information. I'll select the user. I'll add Corey Wazlewski, which is me. So you can add other information, like I said, due date, priority. Make a start date for today's the 26th, and we'll have it due about 6 o'clock today, just to show you how it works. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see a ribbon with comments, subtasks, documents, forums, etc. Just like the feed, you can mention someone or upload a file, but instead this will be linked to the task. So I will mention Sierra this time and ask if she can help me with logo design. So I'll say at Sierra, I need help with logo design. You'll add the comment. And it will show up right there. So once let's say you have finished a task and you're done with it. For instance, we've already gone to the logo screen, so I will click on this, and I'll click close because we have finished this task. The task will disappear once we refresh it. But you can always view, so we're only viewing open right now, so we can want to view all the closed ones, it will come up right here. So you can change what you want to see and don't want to see. If you go to all tasks, you also see that as well. So we will go back just to all open. So in terms of views, actually I will go back to all tasks. In terms of views, um, this is the classic one. This shows the task list and tasks below it. There is plain, which is similar to classic, except everything is more smushed together. And finally, there is Kanban, which is unique because it allows you to move around the tasks easier. Move it like this. So under tasks on the vertical ribbon is milestones. Milestones are basically goals you reach within the project. For instance, when you finish a certain part of a project like web design, so to add a milestone, you simply click on the Add Milestone, give it a name and due date. So I'll say Web Design. And once you have done once you're done making the milestone, you can link that to a task list. So right here, say add task list. Say web design. There you go. You can also comment on it using the add sign as well that we went over previously. There you go. So under milestones is calendar. Calendar is pretty self-explanatory. It shows you what you have going on for each day as a calendar year, such as tasks, milestones, or events. Any task, milestones, or event you add outside of the calendar will show up in the calendar as well. You don't have to separately add the two, but if you wanted to add a task or milestone, you have the ability to do it here as well. So let me just click on one of the dates, so we'll say we'll go on tomorrow.
or enter title. So I will create an event. I'm going to call this one client meeting. I will select myself. We'll schedule it at or duration of hour. Remind and we'll save. So that's going to show up in purple since it's an event. There we go. So under calendar is documents. Documents allows us, i.e. business advisors and clients, to collaborate on documents instead of going through the hassle of constant emails of different versions, which sometimes can be pretty confusing. So to create a new document, you simply move over to New on the drop-down menu. And on the drop-down menu, you will be able to create either a document, a spreadsheet, or a presentation. You can also upload files from your computer or a cloud in this menu. So we will create a spreadsheet. And let's call this one Client Finances. So as you can see, we created a new spreadsheet. And when I click on the cell, it turns green. If there's more than one user on the spreadsheet, their cursor will be a different color, so you'll be able to see who is working on what part of the document. Everything on this document saves automatically. So for instance, I'm going to type in client finances. And you can see in the top right of the page that will be saved. It says, right now it says saved at 11.11. Zoho also allows us to create different versions of documents. So if we go to file, create version. I'll call this one version 2. Create. And if you go to version history, so I'll go back to file, and right under create version is view version history, it'll say up here that I created a new version. This also shows if anyone has done anything to the document as well. So let's go back to editor, just to go back to how, when we're going to edit the document. So if you're done working on the docu document, all you have to do is exit out of the tab, um, because it auto-saves, and you'll see the documents appear right here. If you want to upload documents to a task, we will go back to tasks, back to classic. So, we'll create a new task list, say, client finances. We'll add a task, finance spreadsheet. Sign this to me. Submit. So we'll go to click on this, and under documents, we will say associate documents. You can see the spreadsheet will pull up right here. So all I have to do is check that and attach, and you'll see it pop up in that task. So let's back out of this. So right under documents, you'll see forums. Forums allows us to post topics, discuss ideas, and help capture knowledge in one place. So to add a forum, we simply click on the add forum. We will create a title. I'll call this one social media questions.
There we go. And drop our attached files here as well. And then we will add. And there you have it. So I'll post a comment. Why is our Twitter not linked to our Facebook? Just as like a general question that you would have. So you post as a question, post a comment. I don't want to be able to see that. So let's go back here. You'll see right there as well. Say that I asked a question at 11.15. So that is it. This wraps up our Zoho client training. I hope this video was helpful, and thanks again for being part of the IA Business Advisors team. Have a good one.